Welcome to my magical chamber. I am the Soul Enchantress and today we will discuss the concept of seeds of passion. I will also um, give you three steps that you can employ in order to harness uh, your soul's seeds of passion. As always, before we get started, a quick reminder that my videos are designed as a listening tool and so there will be no visual distractions. Um, and this has been done purposely so that you can truly hear and understand the messages that Spirit intended for you. Um, plus also every topic that I speak about, I have been guided to do so by um, Spirit. In front of you, I thought it would be ideal to place um, that is actually a dried avocado seed and an avocado always stands for the birthing um, of opportunities or the actual energy of birthing and there is also a, um, a snail shell which kind of um, symbolizes the um, golden ratio and the spiral and the cosmic awareness of the infinite possibilities. And I thought it would be um, quite cute to put in front of you in case you want it to stare at something while you're listening to my voice. Um, having said that, let's get started and explore what seeds of passion mean. Passion um, is another word for describing the yearning or desires of your soul. And as I've just described, this everything that is in this message is actually channeled. Um, and this is information that I've been given to speak about. So hopefully it will help you. If passion is another word for describing the yearning or desires of your soul, whenever you feel the yearning for something, to do something, to experience something, um, or you desire to do that, when you actually feel it from the core of your soul, and it's not just a uh, superficial um, desire, that is actually what passion is about. That is the seed that ignites all um, in your life. And the sooner you understand what your soul desires for every aspect of your life, the sooner you will live a seamless lifestyle. So you may know people or from your own experience where there have been times where you've really tried to push for something to happen because you wanted it. Um, but there's been too many obstacles and yet you will see somebody else seamlessly um, going through their life, whether it's in their work life or in their love life or maybe both. Um, I'm just picking those two as an example areas of life. Um, it's n not for you to um, hone in on your love life or your work life, apply it to whichever part of your life. Um, it just means a person who seems to just be walking through open doors and you seem to be walking into doors that shut in front of your face or vice versa, maybe someone else is doing the slamming into doors and you're the one walking through the doors. Whether you've done it consciously or unconsciously, if you are in alignment with what your soul desires for every part of your life, for your love life, for your work life, um, etc., you will find that the doorways open and that, um, that at an unconscious level, um, you've understood what your soul desires for every aspect of your life. Um, I've actually been working with many clients lately to identify their soul's desires for their love life, for their work life, for their spiritual path in various areas of their life. And the results have been um, truly profound because once you identify what your true passions are, not what you think your passions should be, not what society dictates your passions should be, not what your friends or family or partners or lovers tell you what your passions should be, what you, you truly know to be true and you identify that, um, that's when things seem to almost magically appear. So these are the three steps, very simple steps that you can um, take in order to sow your seeds of passion. So firstly, understanding your soul's true desires is your first step. 
So you need to understand that and or work with someone who can help you to understand that. Secondly, um, when you actually understand what your true desires to experience in this lifetime is, it will open the doors to opportunities that you didn't even realize existed. So those will become your synchronicities. Uh, your first step is to understand what your soul's true desires are for every aspect of your life. And then the next step is for you to understand what that is and to actually accept that knowledge and acknowledge it. And as soon as you do that, you will notice the synchronicities pointing you in the right direction. And the third and final step is to integrate what your soul desires with the opportunities that are available or are becoming available into your psyche. So you need to integrate this understanding and the opportunities um, into your psyche. You need to mesh the two together. And if you actually carry these three steps out, you will create powerful forward motion in your life. This is how I live and I help my clients to do so. So as always, I hope this has been helpful and if you'd like my help in um, uh, with a divination or an enchantment or a sacred sound meditation or a mentoring session for your soul, I would love to hear from you. My details are in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you next week. Passionate and joyous blessings.